was headed to work today feeling a little stressed and I was thinking about what video could I make I want to make something meaningful I want to make meaningful content I don't want to make a video of me just complaining of me talking about how stressed I am about how to accomplish everything in my day how hard it is or difficult it is so it seems that I'm trying to make something meaningful in the sense that it's that it's meaningful to me something to capture a video that will allow me to vent allow me to share my perspective of the the difficulty of accomplishing my day's mission or rather missions I could talk about lots of things that are negative and difficult in my realm of influence I could talk about my vehicle and all the different problems that it's facing this thing starts clicking and I have to press this like every minute or so lots of problems to talk about I'm outside the Home Depot now and I was thinking about meaningful content And I don't want to make content that's about me complaining about what all I have to do and accomplish and how that's strenuous. And, but I want to share my perspective. People who are watching my videos, I want to bring value to you. I want to entertain you. I want to give you tips and tricks and all that. Um, and I think I have a, I feel like I have a big problem in that I I get, I want so badly to explain myself and articulate myself and express my viewpoint. And I end up carrying this thing that's in a real way controlling my listener or my viewer. The idea that I'm carrying something in my heart that I want to be listened to, I want to be heard. And so I fight for that internally. There's this pressure on myself that I put on myself. It doesn't belong, it doesn't belong in there. I think it comes out of a place of not valuing self. My second job today got canceled. I'm sitting at Home Depot, just got the supplies for it. Got a phone call saying she's not wanting to do it today. She's wanting to do it. It'll be two weeks from now. But it's caused it's caused me to s sit back, take a moment, and reflect. Because in my wanting to create something meaningful and share my perspective that also brings value to you, I'm coming to the realization of how selfish I am. I think it's important to understand my own self-value, but not at the cost of withholding or manipulating or controlling people in my own heart. I'm not physically controlling people, but I'm carrying this thing in my heart of like, hear me, hear me. I want to be heard. I want to be noticed. I want to be these things. Instead of genuinely giving and if I'm not authentically genuinely giving that's not love that's selfish on the same on the same note my birthday is this weekend happy birthday yay I'm turning 31 for my 30th birthday I had purposed to create a YouTube channel. I purposed to start something that I could reflect back on throughout my year. December 31st, 2018. I'm getting ready for the new year. And I've seen a lot of progress in myself. I've seen a lot of growth. I've seen myself mature in areas of insecurity and grow into another level of confidence 
I'm most certain that I'm not completely there. And I still have a lot of growing to do on a personal level. I'm creating this video because I think it's a it's a good it's a good mile marker. I didn't start my YouTube channel until December, late December, and then I wasn't and then in January of 2019 is when I really decided this is it, I'm committing and I've committed. But this is a good time to stop and reflect on the past year and why I even started to begin with. One reason is to document my life, to have these videos as little milestones in my life that I could look back and reflect on where I was at any given moment, to see the progression that I've made and the quality of videos and the quality of my life and the pursuit of personal goals. And I haven't shared everything. I haven't been nearly as vulnerable as I want it to be. I'm wanting to authentically share self. And I've also realized that in these videos when I'm just looking at the camera for long periods of time, it can be very boring. It can be hard to listen to. And that's not very valuable to you, the listener. But I also, I value creating something that's nice. I want to make amazing content, amazing videos that are fun, exciting, that bring value and entertainment and causes curiosity and just really good quality, really good quality. I really value quality. And of course, I don't believe that I have really lived up to my own expectation. But at the same time, I'm working, I'm working a, a job. This is my job. And so you, my videos, they're not my, they're not my job. They're, and it, it can be pretty difficult to think of like, okay, what am I going to film today? I need a story. I need a story to tell. How can I illustrate my story? And sometimes, you know, what I'm doing on the job is, to me, it's boring. I. To me, the videos help me to think creatively. Even though my job can be overwhelming a lot of times, going from job to job to job to job to job to job. And then I get all this anyway. Like today, I'm sitting in a parking lot because the job got canceled. I still have quite a few other things I gotta go do. I could probably get a kickstart on them. Go ahead and go do them and then, so my day's not nearly as overwhelmed. Instead, I'm deciding to video. I just believe that in my wanting to do something of significance, for me on a personal level, at the same time for you to bring value to you, don't think that I'm living up to my own expectation. I think that's just the whole thing about this video. Is I'm, I'm turning 31 and I've committed to doing a thing. I did that thing. And I think what's, what's going on in, inside of me is that I want to bring, I want to bring excellence. I want to bring quality craftsmanship through my video taking, through my life, through my work that I do. I want, like, my truck is a mess. I am just emotionally, I'm a, been, I've been a mess. Working through personal insecurities, working through just personal immaturity. At the same time, trying to attain to another level of self. Trying to, to attain to the better version of myself because I envision myself as a certain person and I'm in that process of attaining to that certain person. And that process doesn't look nothing like that person that I'm wanting to be. And I just need, I need to take time to reflect on the process that I've been through so that I can establish where I'm at right now, where I'm at today and genuinely appreciate myself for what I've done and even though I'm not where I want to be just love just take time 
to enjoy the process. If I want luxury, if I want quality life, a quality lifestyle, that's going to manifest from what's going on in here. And if I can work on what's going on in here and love myself in a healthy way and not, not put self pressure and doubt and afflict myself in negative ways, but appreciate myself and appreciate how I'm managing myself, then I will be able to live out that quality, excellent, luxurious lifestyle that I am wanting to attain to. Even even in that quality, luxury, luxurious lifestyle, I want I want to get my my fingers messy. I want to get my hands dirty. I I, I like that self growth, self awareness. That's getting your hands dirty. It's it's digging in it's, and it's it's fighting it's fighting a good fight. Looking for some tools. I think I think even though I have this insatiable desire to create really quality content that's very valuable to not just me but you also, I think I should just start where I'm at and just appreciate where you're at. Appreciate the process that you're in. It's important that you enjoy the process because if you're finding motivation just for the end result, there's going to be a discrepancy. Because fantasizing about the end result, that person that you want to be, is different than the actual process of becoming that person that you want to be. No matter how much you fantasize about this per perfect version of yourself, it's it's a moving target. And besides, even if you did attain to that level of that person that you want to be, stagnation breeds destruction. If you just sit on your winnings, then you'll lose everything. So you need to enjoy the daily discipline of going to battle every single day. You can see my breath. Goals are good to have as an end result. A goal should be more of a compass, something that gives you a sense of direction to follow after towards, but in the day-to-day, -day, in the day-to-day, -day, you should really just enjoy the day-to-day -day operations. You should just take pleasure in where you're at. Gotta go in Ross. I forgot my notebook. All right. Now I'm going in a Ross. I think it's time to get a, a beard trim. And keep running. Keep running towards the, the prize of the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Keep running towards that thing that you're wanting and desiring the goal the end result keep pressing but enjoy the journey enjoy the process my man and happy birthday here it is and of course jesus is the the greatest example of maturity and manhood he is my role model. He is boldness himself. I believe boldness is a genuine and authentic expression of who you naturally are. Pressing into the best you. I believe Christ is the power. He is the, he is the life force. He is the representation. He is the very image and expression of the glory that we are called to be like. He is that bold character, willing to do what it takes, living a life with excellence and virtue, full of character and resolve and grit to lead, to be a leader. Willing, willing to do the hard stuff, to lay 
to lay, there's no greater love than this that a man would lay down his life for his friends. And that, that is the pursuit and the journey that I'm on. To live a life laid down, giving and serving and loving, an expression of love. The most excellent life you could ever live. That's my birthday wish for year 31. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> I'm headed this morning to go get some coffee. It's rainy. Chuck is heating up. Coffee, 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 coffee.